Hello everyone, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to show you how to easily update the My Listing theme. You know, we all get excited when the team releases updates and we want to get those in place as soon as possible and start our testing and take advantage of those new features. WordPress makes this much easier on us today with the recent updates to, to Core. We can now upload zip files of themes and plugins actually and and uh, update those on the fly without having to use an FTP application. So we're going to run through that really quickly. Um, and just as a reminder, on the club website, we have our video tutorials that you can view here. And this video will automatically appear in there once it's posted. All right, so the first thing we want to look at is we log into our Theme Forest account. And uh, we see here the My Listing theme. And if we click the download button here, all we want is to install a WordPress file. So let's go ahead and click that. Just waiting on that to download there. Now I know this is version 2.6.2, .2, but you can also find that by going uh, to the actual page on Theme Forest. And uh, let's see, scroll down here. And there's a change log section. So here you go, you get the version. So what I like to do is once that's downloaded, I like to name that right away. I have to wait until this file gets cleared here. There we go. And I like to keep every version on file in case I need to roll back or a, a client needs to roll back and I can provide that for them. Okay, so now we have the My Listing update. We can go ahead and close this. Close this. And we can close this. All right, so here we have a My Listing website. This just happens to be Starter Site 3. If we go into our themes, we notice we have the child theme active, installed and activated, which I highly recommend you do that even if you never need to do customization, uh, custom code with your MyListing website. There's no downside to having this, so might as well put that in place. Um, okay, so if we click on the theme details here, we see we're at 261. So we're going to update this to 262. Uh, real quickly, we have the Envato Market plugin in place here. But as you see here, it's it's not showing the updates. And this can happen from time to time. Uh, so that's why this video is, is taking place today. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go to our themes here. So all we're going to do is uh, click this Add New button, or you can click Add New here. Upload theme. We're going to choose that file that we downloaded. And click Install Now. So we see here the current version is 261. We're updating to 262. Just click Replace Current with the uploaded version. All right, we see here the theme is updated successfully. Let's go back to the themes page and just verify that. And there we go, we're at 262. I always recommend clearing your cache after all said and done with this. All right, so we've done that. Now let's go view our, view our website here. Okay. I mean, you can do more thorough testing, but this is just a point release, meaning it's not a major release. So, you know, obviously you want to test things, you know, according to what we see in the change log, especially. Um, but at quick glance, everything is fine. So that's pretty much how the process goes. Um, hope everyone is doing well out there and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.